you saw our episode from Mallory Park, then you would have seen Nick and Paul with their nifty aerial threes. In that episode, we said we'd catch up with them again, and here we are. So join us as we take a closer look at these somewhat bizarre little machines. Right then, the aerial threes. I'm here with Paul Bottomley and Nick Payne. Paul, please take us through. The, the first two are yours? That's right, yeah. The orange one on the left here is Stan. Stanley Kubrick, Clockwork Orange. Absolutely. And the one on the right is Curry purely because that's the colour code that I've painted it in and it seemed apt at the time. Uh, both of them are 49cc air cooled two stroke made by BSA in the 1970s. Very slow, but lots of fun. Okay, for any, what's specifically the difference between these and other small bikes? Well, I, I think the obvious thing is the fact that this has got three wheels, not two wheels, which is the, right. is, is the, the main thing that, that catches everybody's eye. Um, interestingly, uni fork at the front, where most bikes have uh, two forks, and uh, it's rear wheel drive, but it's only one of the wheels is driven. There's no brakes, nothing on that wheel, it's just a, it's a coaster. And interestingly, on corners, it actually leans. Okay, can you which, show us that? Yeah, sure. So when you're actually on a on a corner itself, you're expecting the back end to lean with you. Yeah. It doesn't. It stays where it is. <laughs> so you actually lean into a corner both ways. I won't say you get your knee down, but it, you know you, you feel like you have. <coughs> How many aerial groups? Are there in the UK? Uh, we think there's only one, and that's the Facebook group that we run at the moment. And so we think there's probably 50 or 60 bikes that have, have appeared out of the wood, well, normally out of people's lofts or sheds. So uh, we're doing quite well, we're quite happy, we're starting to talk together and sort of swap parts with each other as needed. Take, take us through the, the blue one. This is Henry, I can't remember why I called him Henry, but it's Henry. Totally original bar the tyres, whereas Paul's been lucky enough to be able to do some work on his. Period stickers, very it's important. Quite rare. Basically, has found a lot slower than his bike, I will add, for some reason. When I put this one back on the road, there was no new kits available for the suspension, so I um, I got mine from pets at home. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the Kong. That's it's the a thing. Kong. It's a Kong. The top part of the Kong's there. The bottom part of the Kong's there. And, and that's it's the thing you shove food in it. Like yeah, there. looks like a rubber snowman. Yeah, and it's yeah. done. A, it's done a year of riding. So far, so good. <laughs> tires, tires were fun. Originally, those were the only tires you could get. And whilst they're fine at 25 mile an hour, I found above 25 mile an hour they tend to disintegrate quite dramatically. There's got to be a lot of people watching this that are going, "What? You go above 25 mile an hour on that?" Yeah. This one has a little bit more power than these three, being as it's got a slightly different engine in it, and it has been the wrong side of 50. The wrong side of 50. Yeah. I was downhill, mind. <laughs> and I probably aged, I didn't have any grey hair until that moment. But this is, whereas these are 6 volt, this is running 12 volt electrics. I have LED lighting. Oh, so but to the point that being oh, there, that they were all 6 volt, but you've, up, you've upgraded yeah. it? With the change of engine, I've gained 12 volt electrics. Okay. So I can run LED lighting and a proper horn. And Unbelievable. It's four stroke. So there's no trying to remember to put the right amount of two stroke oil in it. Yeah. I'm not very good with two strokes. <laughs> I go out on this some days and I'm like the London Fog and the next day I'm not. <laughs> but these must be, what are some of the comments you get when you when you cut around? Paul, come back in, come up. When you're out and about on these, what, do, what are some of the things people are saying? Um, well, having a, a, a slight distract, I, I also do classic cars vivas and everybody used to say, oh, I had one, my dad had one, my mum had one. Having taken these to shows now, all we get is, my mum had one, <laughs> a long pregnant pause, she hated it. <laughs> but I think we've still got it somewhere in the shed. How many of these did they make? Uh, we think about four and a half thousand from about 1970 to 72, 73. Um, few went abroad, so there are some in Australia. There's, uh, yeah, a, couple there's couple a couple of videos Italy. on YouTube, yeah, yeah. the chat riding my round. I think I've seen one photograph from a guy in America, but I would have thought the big percentage of them would have been UK based. Um, no idea how many are left, but uh, not a lot really, considering BSA blame it as the downfall of their entire business. 
how four and a half thousand small little bites could ruin the whole business. I, I think they were at the wall beforehand. I think so. They just needed something to point out, and they went that. Yeah. So, they, they, so they must be. Are they really quite collectible then? Uh, based on their number, I mean, it must be. They a, seem a to good be increasing in popularity. Yeah. More and more every week on eBay now, you there's one or another. Yeah. Whereas before it'd be like you might see sort of one a month. Now all of a sudden they're everywhere. We recently had a, a lady join the forum who's got eleven. Eleven. And that's from a two, that's two years worth of collecting. So I think all the ones up north she's hoovered up. But fair play to her. She's got them on the road. She goes out and shows them and she uses them. Wait so a minute. How many have you two got? Uh, well, there's the, the four here. I've got another one and a half at home. So she's got more. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Maureen. Yes. Rock on, Maureen. Yeah, yeah no, we're, we're really enjoying them. I mean, it's just nice to poodle out down the country lane. Um, try and catch the cycle clubs if you can. It's usually a struggle. <laughs> but, uh... Yes, I have been paced by a cyclist along a country lane, which is quite hilarious. Can I ask, the? it looks, it looks almost like you've got because of the flat bit on the back, like it's not not quite a boot, but a big platform to put things on there. How does that work? Yeah, well, obviously, as you can see on Curry, um, they've got the shopping basket on, um, and I've also got the accessory bit where you can uh, a little rack to put the spare wheel on. Um, I would think it was pretty unsuccessful because there's a no suspension on the rear. You wouldn't want to be putting cans of coke in there and anything soft fruit or vegetable wise is probably going to end up as a bit of a puree by the time you get home. So uh, a loaf of bread I guess would be all right, it'll probably slice itself for you, you know. <laughs> and but tell me, so okay, on a, on a, <coughs> what does it take in the tank and how far can you get on a tank? Uh, the, the 0.6 of a gallon, I don't know what that is in litres. Three um, litres. Three litres, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm, litres. I'm not that modern unfortunately. <laughs> they claimed 140 miles to the gallon with us sort of road testing and trying to get them running right, we haven't achieved that yet. No, I, I think normally they just sit there and wet themselves as the carburetors leak the fuel <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. But I don't know, give, give them the due. I mean, we normally go out for sort of like 16, 20 mile ride and we've used about a litre each, something like that. So based on that, you're going to be looking close to 100 miles to a gallon. What we're going to have now is a drill down on the detail on Charlie. Paul would often said, you know, be nice to have one with a little bit more room. So I thought I'd have a go. I used to be into monkey bikes. I know the Honda Cub engine quite well. Originally the plan was to build it with the engine and everything naked on the back, no bodywork or anything, because I didn't think there was any chance of it fitting in. But once I got it to work and had it sat on the bench, I realised it does fit. It's um said an engineer. It's incredibly snug, but it's in there. I've had to lose the original fuel tank which would have sat there. And obviously it's, it's now got a fuel pump because the fuel tank's up on the back and isn't high enough to give a good head of fuel into the carburetor. Oh, so I've got 12 volt electrics, hence the gaffer tape in battery. Gaffer tape, <laughs> if it moves, gaffer it. Gaffer it. So C50LA, fully automatic, three speed, engine out of a Honda Chaley. Um, and that impacted the name of this, what's the name of this again? Charlie, so it's Charlie, Chaley, you know. It is a prototype. See what he did there. So, yeah, okay. If you need gags, if you need gags or one-liners, Paul's your man. <laughs> <laughs> Probably get on for 300 miles on it now, judging by the fact I'm on my third tank of fuel. Um, it's been good. It's reliable. It always starts. Sometimes it starts a little bit too keenly, and I have chased it up the road on more than one occasion. There's a few issues with it being the cub engine. The kickstart is here, which means I've had to. Well, it's like a dog's tail, really. It sort of oh, wags wow. out the back, but it does kick it over. Fuel tank's now here. It's an old generator tank, so I've managed to use the bolt holes that the handle would have gone into to fabricate my own spare wheel carrier, because I have found it does tend to eat the tyres. Well, that one. The driven tyre. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's, I love a work, it. it's a work in progress, and it's caused a few chuckles. I've been to a couple of bike nights on it. Yeah, I know, but it, it's, um, it, it's, well, hen's teeth, isn't it? It's super rare. Yeah, there is one other four-stroke one in the UK built by a chap called Mark, who I've yet to meet. Him and his father built it, but it's all done with the engine and everything exposed at the back. Oh, and there's right. some rather good photos of it on the internet, of it hammering around Mallory Park. Really? Yeah. Is that where, at some point, we can find you doing that? Oh, God, I'd love to have a go at that. <laughs> right then, enough chat. Time to have some fun.
If you enjoyed this episode, then why not take a look at a few more or even hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future ones. If you really love us, then give that patron button a click. Now then, you've been told, on your bike. <laughs>